my name is Kevin. Welcome to this Magoosh GMAT video. We're working on sentence correction here. And in this video, we're not going to really focus on how to solve the problem or the steps towards solving the problem. I want to focus on how can we eliminate wrong answers. And I want to give you one specific tool for eliminating possible wrong answers on the test. So this won't lead you directly to the right answer. This is going to help weed out the bad answer choices so you can slowly weed away and get to the one correct answer. Um, so this question came from the official GMAT book, the 12th edition, and it's number 59 if you want to go search it out. But we'll read it here. The Olympic Games helped to keep peace among the pugnacious states of the Greek world in that a sacred truce was proclaimed during the festival's month. All right, um, so one thing that the GMAT people like to do is to give you answer choices and mix everything up. They put modifying phrases in different places and they change the form of words. Um, so they change the part of speech of a word. So in this case, I have proclaimed in the sentence and then I wrote these answer choices and wrote that word, that part of speech, in red. The blue um, is not the same for each. That is different for each answer choice, but I wanna focus only on this word and see how it changes from answer choice to answer choice. So here in A, they just replicate what's in the sentence, was proclaimed. Here we have the progressive form of the verb uh, proclaiming. Here you have past tense, past tense again, and uh, this one is the noun form. And this is the one that we wanna focus on when you have the option between a verb and a noun, the verb is gonna be more direct and it's gonna be more forceful. What happens when we use a noun form is we end up with um, a preposition in the front which creates this prepositional phrase. It ends up not being as direct and not as clear. So, when you find this in the answer choices and you have the option for the verb, eliminate the answer choice that has a noun. So, proclamation is more cumbersome not as clear, we're gonna eliminate it because it's the noun form. Um, so that's all I really wanted to point out in this video. We can also talk about one other small point. The GMAT does not like us to use progressive forms of the verb unless something is continuing. So an ing form of a verb has to be used when something is continuing. In this case, we're talking about something that happened way in the past, and so there's no possible way that it's continuing, so we could eliminate this answer choice as well. Um, in terms of the right answer, do you guys have an idea? What do you think? What do you think? Answer choice is D. Answer choice is D. All right, that is all I wanted to cover in this video. I hope that you use this on testing. It helps you to get that perfect score you're after. Uh, my name is Kevin again. Head on over to gmat.magoosh.com for some more practice problems, and I will see you on another day. Be excellent.